Seated in the auditorium today are family and friends who have in many different ways supported these candidates to reach the goal represented by this ceremony. On the platform are the college faculty and staff who've motivated, encouraged, and inspired these students as they completed their coursework and their college experience. And before us are the candidates. The candidates for graduation who have become good friends, mentors, and colleagues, developing relationships that will serve each of you well as you move into the future together. We join then as members of an extended support network to celebrate our involvement with these candidates and to witness their accomplishment. That celebration now begins. Presiding over the summer commencement ceremony is the president of the Pennsylvania College of Technology, Dr. Davy Jane Gilmore. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. It's good to be having you here today. And I'd like to say welcome to our beautiful Community Arts Center and to this commencement ceremony honoring the class of 2012. Today, the graduates become part of a proud Penn College legacy. For nearly 100 years, this institution has provided a foundation for success to men and women who wish to thrive in an ever-changing world. Many challenges have faced our graduates. Over the years, there have been times of war, times of peace, times of economic growth, often inspired by emerging technologies and times of economic recession. At all times, it is our institution's mission that has been to prepare its graduates to enter the workforce capably and confidently and to earn advancement into positions that will influence and shape the future. As we celebrate your commencement today, we also look forward to the contributions that you will make in the days to come. This is truly a ceremony that honors the past, the present, and the future, most importantly, your future. We appreciate the efforts that you have put forth in order to reach this milestone, and I ask each of you to find time today to gratefully acknowledge the support you have received from your family and your friends, your faculty and your staff mentors. This day is important. It's important to all of us because you are important to all of us. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this very special day that you and your loved ones will remember forever. I'd now like to introduce Mr. Elliot Strickland, Chief Student Affairs Officer. President Gilmore, Chairman Secor, Provost Starkey, distinguished faculty and staff, family, friends, and most importantly, the August 2012 graduating class. It is my pleasure this morning to introduce your student commencement speaker. Brandy Krauss represents the best of what our society hopes for in higher education. A commitment to academic pursuit, leadership and involvement in her out-of-class activities, and a support for her fellow students. Brandy came to Penn College already having prepared herself for this role, specifically through her involvement in the National Honor Society and Future Business Leaders of America. At Penn College, Brandy made an immediate impact. During her time here, she was an integral member of both the dance team and the women's soccer team, serving as the team captain, and she was a representative of the college's Student Athlete Advisory Council. Now, a side note about Brandy's athletic experience. If you ever meet Brandy, you would never know that this poised young woman was the muscle of our team. She anchored our defense, all while earning conference and national all Academic American Awards. Brandy was chosen as a community assistant to serve as a resource to off-campus students and was an active member of the Medical Imaging Club, serving as the president this last year. But all of this activity outside of the classroom pales in comparison to what she accomplished in her academic pursuits. Brandy was selected for membership in both Phi Theta Kappa and Alpha Chi Honor Societies. 
She earned Dean's List status every semester while at Penn College, and today she will graduate summa cum laude with a 3.98 GPA with an Associate of Applied Science in Radiography. During this time, Brandy completed clinical internships at Evangelical Community Hospital, Geisinger Medical Center, and Muncie Valley Hospital, while also holding down part-time jobs at local restaurants. Last night, Brandy was awarded the President's Award in recognition of her outstanding academic and leadership accomplishments. Please welcome your 2012 student commencement speaker, Ms. Brandy L. Krause. Thank you, Elliot, for that warm introduction. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Let me start off by saying it is such an honor to stand before you today as your class representative. I have had much help getting to this point, and I can't say thank you enough. To the Penn College faculty and staff, specifically Robert Slothis, Karen Plankenhorn, and Katie Mackey, thank you. You have been such amazing mentors during such a crazy time in my life, challenging and pushing me to be bigger than I imagined. And to my family and friends, thank you just doesn't cut it. You have been through the thick and thin, and I couldn't imagine attempting this on my own. Now, to the graduates of 2012, congratulations. The journey hasn't always been easy, but it was worth it. Looking back, it seemed as if this day would never come, and yet here we are, and it seemed the time flew by. Today is a time to celebrate to look back and remember the good, the bad, and even the ugly, and be proud of it all. For me, the past three years have been all about balancing. It is my nature to do as many things as possible and do them to the best of my ability. While it often evokes stress and a lack of time, it is what I have come to love. I have often been told I won't know what to do with all my extra time I'll find after college, but I have a plan, continue to balance my life. My journey began with a lack of balance. When I say this, I'm referring to myself as a clumsy five-year-old. My parents made the decision to place me in a ballet class to teach me coordination and balance, and this is where my plethora of activities began. As I aged, I continued to do more and add to the list. I'm sure I drove my parents slightly crazy before I had my license, needing them to take me from one thing to the next, to being forced to join me in my fast-paced journey. And then came college. For many, college is a stepping stone. It is a time to grow up and live on our own, a time to continue our education and specialize in something we love, and a time to make mistakes and lose our balance. This journey hasn't always been easy, and balancing everything became difficult. Naturally, as soon as I walked onto campus, I began figuring out what I could do. Soon after, however, I found myself in more than I could handle or so it seemed. Balancing school, clinic, two jobs, two sports, two honor societies, and a club that no one seemed to know what to do with was just too much. The girl who did it all had reached her limit. I became overwhelmed and didn't know how to handle it. For a moment, I thought about dropping it all and just taking some time to figure it out, but I instantly knew that wasn't the option for me. It just wasn't what I would or could ever do. So instead, I did the only thing I could think of. I took a deep breath and continued on. I learned to manage my time. I had to. Without it, I would never have done half of what I did, or should say do. In spite of everything, I continued to balance. In fact, that clumsy girl even managed to do quite well on point, which for those who don't know dance, are those crazy shoes that ballerinas literally wear to stand on their toes but I also managed to balance my life. People say there is a time for everything, and I am such a strong believer in this. This does not, however, imply that at any given moment, there is only time for one thing. We didn't just take the past several years to go to college and study. We also took the time to make new friends, experience new things, and challenge ourselves. We had to balance the time spent in each role. When we spend too much time focusing on one role or activity, as I did when I first took on everything here at college, we lose that balance. 
So I challenge you to find your balance as it is different for every person. Find the balance between work, family, friends, learning, growing, relaxing, volunteering, praising, helping, and taking time for yourself. It can be tricky to discover how to simultaneously manage all of these aspects, but when you do, the rewards are great. If you're anything like me, you'll just know when you're off balance. And when this happens, just get back up and put one foot in front of the other. Or like me, maybe you'll dance instead. Thank you once again, and congratulations, class of 2012. The Mentorship Award recognizes alumni or businesses that have made significant or ongoing contributions to the education and development of Penn College students by providing mentorship opportunities or professional guidance. This year, we are proud to honor McLaren Plastics, a premier plastics manufacturer based in Hanover, Pennsylvania. The company provides large thermoplastic and fiberglass reinforced plastic components, serving customers throughout the United States, as well as five countries internationally. McLaren Plastics is a significant Penn College partner, working with our plastics and polymer and plastics and polymer engineering majors, and serving as an active member of our Plastics Innovation Resource Center, or PIRC, which supports industry clients worldwide. The company also has a strong proponent of the college's thermoforming center of excellence, which provides additional opportunities for students to experience real world applications through industry partnerships. Over the years, Todd R. Kennedy, president of McLaren Plastics, has supported a number of fundraising and grant matching initiatives to enable us to purchase new equipment and provide hands-on opportunities for our students. He also serves on the Plastics and Polymer Engineering Technology Advisory Committee. He thought so highly of our Plastics and Polymer program that he encouraged his son to enroll. Todd P. Kennedy graduated in 2006 and has been an active participant on the Program Advisory Committee. He is a frequent guest speaker in the classroom and is very active with our students. Roger Kipp, Vice President of Marketing and Engineering with McLaren, has served on the PIRC's advisory committee for a number of years. And as a Society of Plastics Engineering Thermoforming Division board member, he has been instrumental in connecting students with the society, an alliance which has increased the support for the program and increased student scholarships. We are very pleased to present the 2012 Mentorship Award to McLaren Plastics, a company providing significant and ongoing support to our Plastics and Polymer Engineering Technology Program. Please join me in welcoming Todd R. Kennedy, who will accept the award on behalf of McLaren Plastics. I'll be brief, I promise. Dr. Gilmore, thank you very much. Uh, my sincere congratulations go out to those graduating today and their parents and their loved ones. The relationship Penn College nurtures between academics, industry, and success upon graduation has become a standard, a model of excellence and achievement. The Penn College culture prepares graduates to embrace free markets and to achieve independence, which leads to successful careers. Within the Polymer Engineering Program, there are leaders, exceptional people, and I'd like to recognize those today because I'm very close with each of them. My thanks go to Tim Weston, Kirk Canner, John Bartomolucci, Gary McQuaid, and of course the PNC, Larry Michael, uh, Hank White, and Christy Allen. McLaren Plastics and our 240 associates, thank you for giving us this honor and congratulations to each of you. God bless you.
Ladies and gentlemen, as many of you know, the legal corporate body of the Pennsylvania College of Technology is its board of directors. This is the body that, by our charter, is given final responsibility for the governance, welfare, and all other interests pertaining to the college. Though some responsibilities are delegated, ultimate authority rests with the board. At this time, I would like to call upon Dr. Robert Secor, Chairman of the Board of Directors, to authorize the conferring of degrees at this ceremony. Dr. Secor. This is a very special occasion for all of you. The degrees being awarded have come from hard work, from the guidance and wisdom of the faculty, and from strong support from your family and friends. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I extend to all of the graduates our congratulations and best wishes. And to the supporting family members, the faculty and friends, I extend our thanks for your support. Now I turn to my official duty. Dr. Gilmore, by virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Directors of the Pennsylvania College of Technology, I authorize you on behalf of the Board to confer on each of these candidates the degree earned as certified by the appropriate school dean. Will the candidates for Bachelor of Science degrees please rise? Dr. Gilmore, upon recommendation of the faculty, I am pleased to inform you that these men and women have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors of the Pennsylvania College of Technology, I do hereby confer upon you the Bachelor of Science degrees that you have earned with all of their rights and privileges, and with congratulations from the Board of Directors, the administration, and the faculty. Congratulations. You may be seated. Will the candidates for all associate degrees and certificates please rise? Dr. Gilmore, upon recommendation of the faculty, I am pleased to inform you that these men and women have satisfactorily completed the requirements for their respective associate degrees and certificates. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors of the Pennsylvania College of Technology, I do hereby confer upon you the associate degrees and certificates that you have earned with all of the rights and privileges and with congratulations from the Board of Directors, the faculty, and the administration. Congratulations. <laughs> now will the baccalaureate graduates please rise as well? Ladies and gentlemen, you entered this theater a short time ago as candidates for the degrees that you have earned. You have just received those degrees. As a symbol of your entry into the world of educated men and women, I'm going to ask you to join me as I turn the graduation tassel of your class representative. This symbolizes that you are now graduates of the Pennsylvania College of Technology. Congratulations. You may be seated. As individuals and institutions, we all pass through clear stages of development, points in time where we grow into new roles and new responsibilities. This ceremony is a transition event for all graduates. Today, the Pennsylvania College of Technology will recognize individuals with academic honors. Outstanding academic achievement will be recognized for all students. The gold, silver, blue, or white cords that they wear during these ceremonies will identify these students. White for honors, silver for high honors, gold for highest honors, and blue cords for distinguished performance and certificates. In addition, we're proud to recognize graduates who are members of Phi Theta Kappa, their gold stoles and gold tassels can identify these students. 
We also are pleased to recognize graduates of the Alpha Chi Honor Society and White Stoles will identify these students. We would now like to recognize the veterans in our class, identified by their red, white, and blue cords. Students who are graduating, who have served on active duty, as well as those who are currently serving in all branches of the military. Would those students please stand? Please remain standing. I'd like to tell you about our Penn College veterans. Three have earned Purple Hearts, four have earned Bronze Stars, 70 have earned Iraq Campaign Medals, and 17 have earned Afghanistan Campaign Medals. We are very proud. At this time, Carolyn Strickland, the Assistant Vice President for Academic Services, the respective school deans, will present the candidates. Dr. Secor and I will present the diplomas. Now, we are know that you want to capture this moment on, uh, not film, I will say. You want to capture the moment some way on a phone, a camera, or some other device that you've got with you today. And so we'll let you do that. We simply ask that you leave the area in front of the official photographers open so that they can capture the images thereafter as well. And the ceremony now begins. Thank you. As we begin, I will tell you that um, a survey a few years ago for college presidents asked them what they think about during this next part of the ceremony. The number one item responded to by those college presidents were shoes. This is a particularly um, health science dominated service today. And so I guarantee you we're going to be thinking about the shoes as they walk across encouraging them to all get across the stage. So with that, we'll begin. President Gilmore, I present the graduates from the School of Business and Computer Technologies. Stacy M. Adams. Shane A. Davis. Paul C. McGinty. David Calvin Earl. Benjamin Roy Hannon. Jeffrey Benjamin Schroeder. Rebecca Elaine Hill. <laughs> Natasha K. Steppy. <laughs> Stephanie, <laughs> Stephanie Nicole Tempesco. Catherine Ann Oliver. Logan T. Richard. Nicholas Anthony Tanner. Tiffany Marie Mail. President Gilmore, I'm honored to present the graduate from the School of Construction and Design Technologies. Brian M. Harpster. Thank 
President Gilmore, I'm proud to present the graduates from the School of Health Sciences. Gregory H. Burgett. Chrissy Badanovich. Amy Suzanne Bauer. Rolando Calderon. Rolando Calderon. Courtney Lynn Chilson. Patrick J. Daly. Lauren Olivia Victoria Edgel. Adrian I. Kaler. Timothy W. Kemberling. Melissa R. Kiesling. Alicia C. Niddle. Nicole M. Crater. Heather Louise Laird. Tammy June Lingle. Katie M. Lynn. Sarah Marie Losel. Kara Lee Martin. Cheyenne Lynn Mauer. Kelsey Cherie Musser. Caitlin N. Pauling. Allison Riesinger. Sean T. Ritchie. Vincent Angelo Savarese. Kimberly Nicole Sirio. Tasha L. Smith. Kayla Leanne Spangler. Stephanie Marie Westrom. Maddie Diane Winner. Amanda D. Wolf. Jennifer L. Dunlap. Brittany Ann Arufo. Abdul Gadala. Alicia M. Cave. Patricia Louise Connolly. <laughs> Melissa L. Edler. <laughs> Jessica J. Falk. <laughs> Christine Elizabeth Gable. Tiffany Marie Hughes. Aileen Marie Kuiper. Jessica Lee Corman. Jordan L. Moore. Ashley Lauren Newcomer. 
Brenda Leanne Packer. <laughs> Miranda L. Pat. Tammy Ann Shetler. Tammy Ann Shetler. Dana Lynn Sims. Sari Lee Smith. Christy Michelle Yingling. Adiyinka Anobong Abajai. Thank you. Robert Andrew Allison. Kristen J. Bernard. Nicole L. Bogoslaw. Joshua Allen Bauer. Casey Lynn Braun. Jillian Cartwright. Cameron James Coburn. Thank you. Heather Lynn Day. Megan Lynn Faust. Christopher T. Good. Hartzell, Hartzell. Hillary Ann Hartzell. Andrew J. Hoysock, Jr. Kelsey Christine Hummel. Salvatore Giuseppe Marino. <laughs> Kelly Michelle McGinnis. Montgomery. Nathan M. Montgomery. <laughs> Cheryl L. Powell. Kelsey Beth Radisic. Laura E. Richardson. Hans D. Riesinger. <laughs> Tammy R Renee Rischel. Derek Paul Rockwell. Eric Stephen Rymel. Amanda Catherine Seasock. Blair Anthony Stepp. Paula C. Zabo. Danielle L. Williams. Megan E. Wright. Stephen Kyle Banky. Brittany Elise Fry. Trent A. Hill. Sarah Catherine Johns. Jody L. McKibben. Brittany Noel Phillips. 
Erica S. Rosado. Aaron C. Schaefer. Brian J. Schlenner. Kathy L. Kling. Forrest D. Bechtel. Alicia D Danielle Benage. Kristen Elizabeth Bouch. Heather R. Bauer. Corinne A. Boyer. Stephanie Jolyn Browse. Blair Michelle Sillo. Ashley Marie Drake. Carrie Ruth Eichenlob. Dennis L. Fetters, Jr. Natasha Lynn Fiola. Chelsea F. Karshner. Eric Daniel Kennedy. Rachel R. Crick. Nina Renee Peoria. Sierra L. Petro. Kristen Ann Rupture. Ashley M. Rischel. Melanie Ann Roof. Rachel Marie Twist. Jennifer R. Volman. Tara Jean White. Michael K. Becker. Jamie Lynn Binkley. Brianna Jane Berger. Kim Renee Decker. Kelsey Jane Irway. Justine Alyssa Foyne. Rachel Marie Fasciano. Rachel Marie Fasciano. Charlie Foyne. Charlie Foringer. Charlie N. Foringer. Fulmer. Tammy S. Fulmer. Tasha M. Hill. Michelle Lynn Holiday. Michelle Lynn Holiday. Amber L. Keller. Devin Marie Pasco. Lauren A. Powell. Yep. Paige K. Sanner.
President Gilmore, I present the graduates from the School of Hospitality. Marley M. Horchin. President Gilmore, I'm honored to present the graduates of the School of Integrated Studies. Jordan Harley Freezer. Misty Dawn Glantz. Philip A. Jackson. Chantel Renee Waldman. Jessica Dawn Brumgard. President Gilmore, I'm pleased to present the graduates of the School of Natural Resources Management. Thank you. Ryan M. Bodwalk. King. King. Travis M. Kane. Stephen Michael Jenks. Aaron M. Miller. Charles Kenneth Rossiter. William R. Toomey. Joseph Daniel Winters. Cody R. Huffman. President Gilmore, I'm pleased to present the graduate of the School of Transportation Technology. Jeffrey D. Lee. And Brandy Lee Krause. Your connection to the college does not end today. As graduates, you're now members of the Penn College Alumni Association, and that is the link between you and your alma mater. I'm going to encourage you to keep in touch with alumni relations. You're going to hear from that office often with alumni news, and of course, the number one way you'll tell us what's going on is Facebook. We know that. I look forward to welcoming you back to campus to future alumni events and activities, and so it's really important that we continue to hear about your success in the world. It's the time that I look forward to the most, until it arrives, because I know the moment is going to pass too quickly. Now, we joked about presidents thinking about shoes, but in all honesty, a good president thinks about this moment right now the moment where we have to say goodbye to you and where it's our honor to say goodbye to you on behalf of all of these talented faculty and staff behind me. And I wish then for just a moment that time could stand still and I could just have a moment of your time before you leave us. You're special and I hope you know that. You're special because you have skills and opportunities to make a difference in this world. I'm sure that some call me an idealist. The mission and the values of our college mean a lot to me. I want you to leave here knowing how important values and virtues will be throughout your entire life. I know that they probably sound like old-fashioned ideas to you, especially coming from the leader of a college 
that embraces new and emerging technology. But I believe with all my heart that progress is built on a foundation of basic principles that will sustain us through generations. We often avoid conversations about steadfast values and virtues because we fear, as hypocrites, we might be a hypocrite if we are seen to fail or live up to those ideas. We don't want to risk offending anybody whose culture or tradition might be different from our own. But in the end, nothing should stand in the way of communicating common values and virtues that can strengthen our world. Every culture and every tradition has a place for honesty, integrity, compassion, and responsibility. Obligation to leave the world good or better than we found it. Rather than limiting our lives, I would tell you that I think values and virtues make opportunities for each of us to make a profound difference. We are able to connect what we know in our heads with what we know in our hearts and what we do with our hands. And therefore, we can find true purpose and meaning in our lives. I hope your Penn College education will connect the knowledge in your head, the skills in your hand, and the desires in your heart. Understanding that our lives have value and committing our talents to making the world a better place are ways that we can begin to live virtuous lives. Each time that you choose to do the right thing, instead of taking the easy way out, you will choose virtue. As college graduates, you will be leaders in your workplaces and in your communities. And the way that you express your values through your words and your actions will impact the lives of others. Others will follow your example. So be virtuous in your life. The great philosopher Socrates said, the greatest way to live with honor in this world is to be what we pretend to be. Pretending is not enough. You need to intend to do the right thing. We have seen how the mighty can fall when they fail to do what's right and when they did what they pretended to be. Who will you be? How has this experience of college changed you? How will you use your experience to change the world? You are going to make life-changing decisions throughout your life. You will transition from one purpose in one place. Your jobs will change. You will move to new places and you will meet new people. One day, you will plan for your retirement. Honest. In all of your decisions and in all of your transitions, the same questions are going to arise. Who are you and what kind of person do you want to be? Be steadfast in your commitment. I urge you to greet your life with energy and enthusiasm to employ your knowledge, your values, and your virtue in creating the life that you most desire. Today, you become part of a very proud tradition. You join the Penn College Alumni Association. For almost 100 years, our institution has been changing lives and impacting communities. Come back often and share your gifts and your talents with us. Make us proud. It is now time I can't hold the moment any longer. It's time for me, on behalf of all of us, to say goodbye. So class of 2012, you are now part of the valued and virtuous history of the Pennsylvania College of Technology. Go out into this world and make us proud. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Gilmore. I invite those who are able to stand, gentlemen, to again remove your caps and everyone to join in the singing of the Penn College alma mater. The words may be found on page two of your program. Yes.
Sobre 